All right, this is the brand new dungeon here. So let's go ahead and check it out together and see what we can do. Yeah, I, I've heard that we got the new two A's in, which are the Grim Reapers and the Howls. But uh, I heard, also heard this drop Swift Runes. Is that right? People are probably going to start devising teams for to speed run this because Swift Runes are going to be incredible. Being able to get the speed on this run is actually insane. But my main focus today is I actually want to do Grim Reaper. Which Grim Reaper should I do though? Hmm, dude, they look so freaking cool, dude. Look at this. Look at this. Yeah, inflict damage with ignores all effects that resist death. Attack all enemies. Oh, wait, what? Reaps the life of an enemy with a death sight, inflicting damage, which ignores effects that resist death. Wow. On skill one? That's cool. Did they always do that? Attack all enemies with a deadly sight to decrease the attack bar by 30%. Afterwards, stun the enemy with 30% or, or lower 30 or lower HP by one turn. Okay. Brings in an interval uh, judgment upon all enemies, stunning them and decreasing defense for one turn. That's 100%. The inflicted damage portion to the enemy's max HP. Hmm. Fire one here. Let's see here. Attacks all enemies. Always lands as a critical hit if enemies are 30% or less. Increase the amount of uh, damage all allies and enemies receive from contiguous damage by two turns. Disturb HP. Wow. Okay. So this is a really good dot unit, right? It can do more damage with units that uh, are paired up with dot. All right. All right. That's pretty neat. Emails just the same. Spread a plague to all enemies. And inflict two continuous damage for two turns. I think that's exactly the same, right? That hasn't changed. Oh, it's just guaranteed. Is that what it is? Oh, well, it, because you skill up anyway, so that's why it's guaranteed. Attack the enemy's targets to remove all beneficial effects. Decrease the target's attack speed with freezing chills for three turns and freezes the target for one turn. Wow, it's a good single target. Wow, this is a strip freeze. This might be good for PvP, no? Slow for three turns and a freeze for one turn with a strip on it. Holy crap, okay. All right, interesting. Base stats are so low, though. That's the problem with this unit. That's literally the problem with this unit is the base stats are way too low. How about the win one here? Uh, always lands a critical hit if each if Yemeni's HP are 30% or lower. Attack the enemy target three times with the Wind of Heavens and absorb the attack bar by 30% each. The less HP the target enemy currently has, the larger the damage becomes and the cooldown is removed if the enemy dies. <laughs> Rules a dark one. Spread a play to all enemies and flick continues after two turns. You, you instantly gain another turn after using the skill. What? Wait, Thrain has always been good in TOA. And now he's just better or what? Okay. What the hell? Uh, Meteorite of Doomsday falls at enemy and the inflicted damage increases with time. Stuns the target for one turn and recover your attack bar by 20% each of the enemies under continuous damage. Interesting. What is inflicted damage increases with time? Does that mean the more time you use this skill or what? It's a super long cooldown though. Yeah, I, I think the fire one and the dark one together in TOA is actually insane. The fire one makes it, I, I, you guys are telling me that it does double the damage. So instead of 5%, it's 10% per, per turn or what? Is that what it is? And this guy just has to be on the field, doesn't he? That's ridiculous. And he actually puts dots. Wow. Okay. All right, let's check out the dungeon here and see uh, how to beat it. Thrain, and then after that, we're going to do Fran, right? Fran, Vigor. Vigor is a very good option, right? We're going to go with the free-to-play team. And then we need some kind of defense type unit here, right? So obviously, a lot of different options. I actually think if you want to be safe, you can go Zhongfei. I think Zhongfei would be very safe, but a damage dealing unit could be Shaman here. I think Shaman, a lot of people have been building it as, the, as your big damage dealer, right? So, because you have to have something with damage to kind of nuke and go through the dungeon quicker. Like, I don't I don't think I really need more cleanse, per se, but obviously if you have Feng Yan, Feng Yan's good, another defense type unit that can be nice. Uh, if you've already done Second Awaken Ramahan, I think Second Awaken Ramahan can also be decent as well. If you have Tyranny, I have a crit damage Tyranny's. On Rage. I'm running Tyranny's. Alright, but uh, like I said again, I think Fire uh, Fire Panda would be good there. Uh, but I think the core is your, your Grim Reaper, right? Whatever your Grim Reaper is, they're all attack types since you need one of each type. Your Grim Reaper, your Fran, your Vigor, and you just go ahead and slap in some kind of defense unit. You can use Shaman if you already have it built uh, for TOA uh, Hell. You can use your Zhongfei if you already have Zhongfei, right? Keeps the team safer, puts defense break. I, I would consider putting on my crit damage. I think his third skill uh, actually does some of the damage. You can use anything that's a defense type. Right, Feng Yan if you have it, or if you got a crit damage Tyranny's like me, you can run a Tyranny's. Right, I'll take the speed lead there and let's go. Obviously, this first couple dungeons will be easy though, but let's see if it clears. I'm actually curious if, it'll, uh, if it will clear and how effectively it will clear. It will keep the team pretty safe too with defense buff on everybody and uh, and uh, and revive. So this is actually a very safe team. I think I think using a Shaman or using a Ramahan, I think is going to be the best choice. Shaman and Ramahan, they naturally do a nice amount of damage just from their skills. Whereas Tyranny's, you know, will be buffing and doing other skills and doing S1s. And the only thing that nukes really hard is an S2. So that's something to think about as well. Look at this animation. Not bad, not bad.
All right, so I mean, I guess I guess I'll just target the boss here. Chat, do you think I can actually kill the boss on the, the the last stage, or do I need to like do some kind of setup for it? Like I have to go left tower, right tower. Is it that hard? I'm just curious. I'm scared. His turn cycling is kind of crazy. Left then boss. I think you can. All right, we're gonna go straight for boss on the last one. Right on the last one, we'll go straight for boss. We'll, we won't change the the settings right now because the settings won't matter. Right? It, it's it's by stage. Directly on bosses on all stages. How I did it. If David can do it, we can all do it, guys. All right, we're going for boss. I'm just kidding. Another good thing as well is since we're 2A in Grim Reapers, they tend to be damage dealers. So if you actually ruin your Grim Reaper for damage instead of like mine, that's like more tanky for just the dots for like TOA, um, they might actually hit, uh, hit pretty hard. Some of the other ones. All right, so we're on stage four right now. It's, it seems like it's been taking a little while. Why is that? Right, it's not supposed to be this hard, is it? Maybe it's because I'm using Tyrannies. I don't know. Hey, crit damage Tyrannies, baby. Crit damage Tyrannies. Let's go, dude. I think my friend is ruined pretty well. My Vigor is ruined pretty well. Thrain is missing a rune, but that's whatever. And then I got the Tyrannies that's on crit damage. So this is actually not bad. Now, if I move these uh, these runes from uh, Tyrannies over to... Actually, I can move this to... Wow. Wait, I can literally move these these Rage runes from my Tyrannies to any other defense unit. And it'll work. I can move it to Ramahan and we can test it out. I can move it to Shaman and test it out as well. Right? Because it's just a defense type setup. I'm actually a genius. Yeah, we can see how, we can see how good it'll work. Ah, I'm actually going to do that right after this. It's stage 5. Let's see if this actually clears stage 4 first. We'll go for boss. Should be able to, right? I mean, this team has it all, right? We have dots, right? We have damage, kind of. We have defense break. Three turns, by the way. We have immunity. We have attack buff. We have a lot of sustain. Like, this team is really good. <clears throat> like, there's just no way. I don't, I don't, look at that. Crit damage, charities. That's all the damage I did. Yeah. Crit, crit damage, charity is not the way to go. The nice bonus as well is if, let's say you have a Tyrannies and you put it on this team, if something dies, you're going to get a little bit more flexibility and leeway just because of the simple fact that Tyrannies can revive them, right, in the dungeon run. So it's a nice bonus. All right, let's see if it can clear stage 5 going for face. Going for boss. Oh, it, it actually holds uh, the attack order for the entire battle or in the entire dungeon, which is nice. You know what would be kind of toxic though? If these dots, I thought this was what was going to happen, but these dots from this dungeon, if these dots from the dungeon were non, uh, what is it? Um, it wasn't based on turns. It was just infinite, like the dimensional predator. I thought that would be kind of scary, but it's it's a normal dot. So nothing to worry about. Finally, we got a 2A though. Took him, took him long enough to get a 2A around, to be honest. How to run Prom? I would run it as a damage dealer. Uh, running with good, uh, good accuracy. The problem is that you'd have to have it running after your units and the base speed of Grim Reapers are kind of slow. So it makes it really tough, even if they have good skills and whatnot. It makes it a little bit tough to use it in PvP, in my opinion. But we'll see how it goes in the future, right? Maybe turn two play can work. Their base stats have definitely improved, right? And with improvements of base stats like HP and defense and all those other stats, it makes them more viable. A lot of the units that are in the game, the reason why that they're not used as much, as you can see in RTA or PvP, is purely because of their base stats. Their base stats, of course, would give them more damage, and their base stats would make them tankier. That's probably one of the only reasons actually that you know a lot of the units are hindered <clears throat> 51k did you see that that's nice though i think ramahan and uh shaman probably do the job better this this thing is so these guys are this it's so tanky what the hell i guess it is stage five right it's a really slow run though okay here we go going for the face defense break on turn one actually wait this is actually kind of easy oh this is really easy actually what does he do i have immunity he doesn't do anything right Yeah, I have immunity. I guess if, if you don't get lucky with immunity, that might that might that might suck actually. Hmm. <clears throat> I feel like it might be easy to two a the fire one because you get so much damage from dots. No. Oh my gosh, we took a lot of damage. There we go. We're right back. Actually, if anything dies, I have my tyrannies. Yeah, this is this is really easy. This should this is a really easy two a guys, especially because everybody pretty much has vigor. If you don't build it, everybody has friend. Right, whatever Grim Reaper, you just build it. And then last but not least, some kind of defense unit. Two minutes is kind of slow, though. Let's see if we can change it up a little bit. All right, let's try Shaman, like you guys said. Let's see how this runs. He's actually going to do quite nice, uh, quite a nice amount of damage, that's for sure. All right, let's see Shaman. I actually haven't, wasn't even watching. So the only downside to running this team, though, is that if something dies, which hopefully it shouldn't, um, nothing's going to get revived because there's no Tyrannies. What set should you put Prom on? I have no idea yet, to be honest. But, I mean, you can try Violet. Violet, you can never go wrong with Violet. Literally can never go wrong. Even these, the Shaman, are, all these units that have Rune Deer, everything on Violet would be nice. Special Assault, not bad damage. And considering that's every other turn, that's pretty good. All right, let's see here. This already seems kind of, uh, seems faster. I got the defense break up early. All right, S1 does 20K. Okay. All right. I mean, I get a benefit for hitting dark units, right? With uh, Shaman. Oh my God. Okay, Shaman might be the best one then. 
Shaman might be the best one. What the hell was that? Did you see that? 80k. Let's let's try let's try Ramahan though. Let's try Ramahan just cause. The benefit of Ramahan is that if you bring in a Ramahan, the big benefit is that using Ramahan, you'll be able to have another defense breaker. Let's say if your um if your if your if your vigor doesn't defense break, you can actually have a, a another defense breaker, which kind of helps out. I think Ramahan, I think Shaman will still be better just cause this is dark, right? And I believe Shaman does extra damage. Yeah, increased resistance and incoming damage from dark attribute by 50%. Uh, and increases the damage you inflict by 100%. That's why you hit so hard in this dungeon. So I think Ramahan, I mean, uh, uh, Shaman will be the best choice. But we'll, we'll, we'll try out Ramahan for fun. Secondary defense breaker, right? As well as, uh, he's supposed to be able to nuke pretty hard too. So, let's see. Uh, especially when we're, you're in the, uh, these mini dungeons, or these, uh, these stages here. These units might be quicker to kill if you have a Ramahan, right? You could kill, get additional turn with S3, defense break. And if you have defense break, you do more damage with everybody else on your team. I think I'm using an HP, um, an HP uh, Vigor as well. Um, if you go with a crit damage one, which a lot, oftentimes some people do go crit damage, probably will dish out more damage as well. What I really do like is that you have, uh, we have the uh, the Vigor in here. Uh, with the speed buff, it actually kind of helps out because my, the runes on my Ramah are kind of slow. So speed buff kind of helps them to keep up. Anti crit, like this team has it all. No matter what uh, Grim Reaper you slot in, the core being the Vigor and the Fran is so nice. The buffs and stuff they provide are really, really good. So I didn't get a defense big, uh, break there from, uh, what is that? The bigger or the Ramahan, but because bigger missed it, I could have came in with the Ramahan and uh, defense broken, which didn't happen. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, nice violent proc. Nice violent proc. I missed. I missed like three defense breaks though, so that was kind of unlucky. How much? How much damage does S three do here? Wait, that's S two, right? Where's my S my three and die? S three. Smother? Wait, smother? That's all it did? Wait, that was actually so garbage. 237 though, I thought it was slower than that. Okay, so I guess the best, the uh, the best deal, no defense break, true. If I landed defense break, maybe it would be about two minutes. So I guess it's still possible to use that, but um, I, th I think the go-to winner is going to be Shaman if you, uh, if you already have one built, right? A lot of people are building this to use it for um, TOA Hell. Or if you just have it built randomly, you can finally kind of use it now. So I do like Shaman. Shaman is going to be the go-to in my opinion. Actually the go-to in my opinion. You don't have to have it on Rage. You can go Violent. But uh, build a crit damage build. And this thing hits a lot. This is based on your enemy's max HP. As well as you're going to do extra damage to dark units. So it's quite nice. But anyways, uh, we'll probably upload this to YouTube. So if you're watching this on YouTube, feel free to leave a comment down below. Let me know your thoughts. Let me know if you've come up with any crazy teams. And uh, good luck on building your, your Grim Reapers. Yeah, your proms. Your, 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 your sap. Yeah, whatever uh, Grim Reapers you're trying to build. I'll probably end up building all of them. And the next RTA season, we'll probably do five Grim Reaper RTAs. I don't know how that's going to work. We'll see. Maybe we'll do five uh, Howls. Yeah, maybe we got to do a Howl video as well to get through that. But uh, go ahead and say bye-bye to your future self. But uh, until the next one, I'll see you guys in the next live streamer video. Peace out, you